welcome everyone to In Case of Fire. We um, are presenting to you a story tonight that comes from Hawaii. It's been traveled many, many miles around this earth. You've probably heard something similar to it. Um, it's been passed through traditional song and dance, and now we're going to re represent it to you through puppetry. Um, a library card here with all my notes. Uh, not about typical Hawaiian things, this show. Um, I mean, there's no Elvis, there's no scantily clad. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Girls. How about this one? How about this one? <laughs> <laughs> Stereotypes you may think of when you think of Hawaii. There's uh, pineapples and no. Um, what else? We got palm trees. We got hula skirts. We got coconuts. Brought coconut broth. Pete, hey, what the fuck? I said no coconut. <laughs> this is lame. Anyways, um, so what this story is based upon is the word aloha. It's a fairly recognizable word. I'm sure many of you know what it means. Hello, goodbye. Um, it's kind of the general story of aloha. But there's something that's a lot deeper than just hello and goodbye that that word symbolizes for the Hawaiian people. And that is a general overall shared spirit of aloha, how you feel, how you love. And tonight, that is what we are going to show to you. So with that further ado, I will tell you the three main characters. One is uh, Naupaka, the other is Kaui, they are both lovers. Then there is Pele, which you haven't heard of her, too bad. Um, she is the goddess of fire, and we will have all of them represented this evening. So, Good evening, everyone. I would like to welcome you to my home, the tropical paradise that is the Big Island of Hawaii. I live here in the volcano Mount Kilauea, one of the most active volcanoes of all the islands. You may have heard rumors about me. Uh, let's see, there's one, that I am a goddess that controls the volcanoes, the fire within. Some people believe that I am the mother of land. And some also say I go as far as to disguise myself as a beautiful young woman and prey on unsuspecting men. Well, people ran about me having a terrible temper and unforgiving bouts of rage, jealousy, all those terrible things. And those are horrible things for the islanders to say about me after all I've done for them. The funny thing is, is, well, that it's all true. I'm going to tell you all a story now that happened long, long ago. I was wandering around the island with a little time before I had to return to Mount Kilauea. I heard drumming in the distance, and upon a small village, a lua was in sight. Over by the fire, I saw the most handsome man. I just had to know who this beautiful creature of humanity was. <laughs> oh, well, hello. What may be the name of such a man to catch my eyes? I am Cowie. Who may be the woman who stands before me? Oh, I'm just a lonely traveler passing through. Would you care to take a walk and get better acquainted? I, uh, I really shouldn't. I should stay and tend to the fire. Oh, well, why don't you just leave that to me? Pardon my bluntness, but are you by chance the goddess who provides the land and light for our village to <laughs> prosper and grow? Well, I guess that's one way of putting it. Well, enough of these formalities. Let's have a walk through the woods, and I can show you what a goddess has to offer a man such as yourself. <laughs> as honored as, as I am, I, I must decline. It would be unfaithful. Unfaithful to who? Tell me, I demand to know. Please honor my wishes. I beg of you, Madame Pele. I cannot betray our love. I have, I cannot play, I cannot betray our love with one frivolous act of passion, especially with you. Especially with me? Who is this woman that I am no match for? Tell me now! She is your sister, now Paka. <laughs> and with that confession, 
that I had returned to Mount Kilauea, I could not believe that my sister had stood in the way of me having the man that I wanted. I could not allow this to happen. I waited for Naupaka to come to me. I had quite the bone to pick with her. Ah, there she is, my dear sister Naupaka. You are looking well. Thank you, it shows, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> What's showing? I'm in love. Mm, so I've heard. I had the pleasure of meeting young Cowie earlier. He was very adamant on staying faithful to you. Pele, what did you do? Tell me nothing happened. It would kill me to lose him. How dare you, my own sister. Watch your tongue. Do not speak out of line. You will surrender Cowie to me. <laughs> and... I would die before I let that happen. I'm not afraid of you. Well, prepare to run swift, dear sister. My lava will find its way to your beloved. And if you are so bold, you will run to save him. If I cannot have him, no one will. I will teach you to challenge my powers. Now, Paka knew her sister was not bluffing. Oh, it's not I can't see. <laughs> she took off running as fast as she could down Mount Kilauea. Lava was flowing past her and heading straight for Cowie's village. She watched as people scrambled to flee. Everywhere, innocent people were being engulfed by the flames. She caught Cowie out of the corner of her eye. He was headed to the ocean, but he did not make it, for he died. Now Paka knew she had nowhere to turn, so she headed back for the mountain. She thought she could outrun the lava if it did not flow uphill, but she was wrong. Uphill, running uphill, she felt the lava burning at her heels. Exhausted and with her lover dead, she succumbed and was slowly engulfed by the Tragically, my jealousy and rage claimed the lives of Naupaka and Kaui. I, it did not erase the memory of their love for each other. Where each of their bodies lay, a flower grows. This peculiar flower has only one side of petals that bloom. Named in the honor of my dear sister, the Naupaka flower reunites the two lovers when they are picked and brought together. They can be found on mountainsides and beaches to this day a reminder of the spirit of aloha that these two lovers shared. Oh, wrong way. Here, let's let step out. So, after hearing this story, I hope that everyone can walk away with a better understanding of what it means to say aloha. You know, you say, aloha, friends, how's it? You know, but it means so much more. It's the spirit of a people, of a community, and I hope that everyone can take that word and use it in the deepest way possible in word of thanks, mahalo. <laughs>